All right, what is up, beautiful people? Are you a yoga practitioner? Have you ever tried yoga or have ever thought about doing it? Uh, well, this video might interest you because I'm going to be going uh, over my current yoga routine that I've done for the past three years, twice a day, and have seen awesome benefits, so I'm sticking with it. So uh, we're going to be covering this yoga, Maharishi Yoga Asanas. And this first one here is just sitting comfortably. Well, that's an easy start. So we're just going to be sitting comfortably um, and pretty much setting our resolution, which is the next part of why we're actually doing these yoga asanas for healthy body, mind, flexibility, uh, peace and quiet, whatever it is. Uh, you say it internally, close our eyes and really internalize that. The next step is our uh, toning up. So we're going to be toning up here, which is pretty much a simple hand massage over the body and going from top to bottom, bringing everything in towards the heart. So this can take about one to two minutes. And yeah, just slowly going in, right arm, left arm, abdomen, back and legs. Uh, and even before this, there's a awareness pose part, which I didn't do. Um, but that's something that we can include before we start uh, doing our toning up, which is lying down in awareness pose for something like one to two minutes. So this toning up part can seem pretty random, um, you know, just like a random quick bo full body massage. But what I find, uh, I also thought it was pretty random too. I find that it kind of wakes up all the, wakes up my body, the limbs, the cells, um, and all the areas of my body to get started with this yoga practice. Uh, and I see that as uh, one of the biggest benefits. Uh, it seems pretty pretty random, but I find it, it works to um, help liven things up a little bit. And something about overall this uh, routine, it goes from active to quiet. So it's going to start off with um, movements that are a bit more energetic or active, and then it goes towards something that is a lot more quiet and rested. Um, so we're going to get started with some other movements now, and we're going into side rolling. Uh, side rolling is something that I've never seen ever before <laughs> until I started doing Maharishi Yoga Asanas, but I find it very enjoyable now with that um, slight pause when rolling to either side, holding it for a few seconds. It's really good on the back. I find it's really enjoyable on the back, and it's um, a good way to just kind of get things going, and this is what I mean by active. This will be followed by bicycle motion. And bicycle motion is done for a few times, three, four, five, six times, um, each leg alternating. Um, and each of these movements are supposed to be natural. We wanna keep this as natural to our body. We don't wanna be forcing, straining, uh, trying to really kind of put our limbs in positions that it's never been before. It wants to be natural and smooth and easy. And that's the one of the biggest differences I've noticed with these asanas compared to yoga that I was doing before. Now we're moving into knees to chest. Knees to chest, and this is what I mean, uh, we're gonna go until it feels natural, and when we feel a slight strain, uh, we're gonna put our attention on that part that feels the strain, and it'll dissolve. It'll dissolve naturally, but we don't wanna keep forcing it too much uh, after that. And by keeping it natural, this means that we're going to keep our normal, regular breathing pace. Uh, it's not going to get too energetic or too crazy. And this is what I'm doing here in between each pose. So now we're going into leg raise. And before I went into leg raise, I took uh, some time in awareness pose just to catch my breath, just to make sure that everything is settled. Uh, because the main purpose of this routine is to become more settled, more uh, relaxed. So we're not going for uh, maximum flexibility in this one. Uh, it's to be relaxed. And now we're going to go into shoulder stand. And shoulder stand is one of the more interesting poses of this routine. I can't say that um, I've never seen it before, but I never considered it as a yoga pose. Uh, I find this to be very enjoyable. I think the blood goes in a different direction. I feel like every cell in the body gets maybe just adjusted a little bit more. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds to a minute. 
Uh, I really like that pose. I find it more interesting, but the next one coming up, I think, is my favorite pose, which is raising the waist. And when you see this one, you'll know why it's called raising the waist. I find that it really, really opens up the front side of the body. The front side of the body where, you know, we're kind of always hunched over and concaved inwards. This does the total opposite and I find the muscles, the fibers really stretch out in a fashion that they've, they're not usually uh, put into. Really good for the hips, really like it on the hips. And one part about um, these Austin is you know you're doing them correctly if they are pleasant. They get a feeling of pleasantness and it is a steady um, feeling that you have in the pose. That's how we're going to know that we're doing it correctly, not going for, you know, competition length of stretches um, or a new max. That's not to the measurement that we're using for these specific yoga asanas. And we're going to go on our stomach into cobra pose. And for all of these poses, we do want to have our mind in one place, and that's the place that's um, being stretched to the area of focus. So, you know, you can have your eyes open, your eyes closed. Not ideal to have like, you know, music, TV, or anything else going on. We want to focus on that, um, keep our steadiness and focus on that area that is being stretched. After Cobra, we're going to go into half a grasshopper. We're going to alternate this one um, maybe about three times, two, three times, five to ten seconds each. And um, we're going to take our time with it. Lift from the hips. So... My knee is a bit bent there, but ideally what we want to be doing is lifting from the hips and we want to keep, keep our hips on the ground, the hip bone. And if you try this one out, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the hip, if we try to raise it too far or rotate, uh, our hip bone will come off of the ground. Now we can maneuver into seat pose and I find this refreshing to take a breather, uh, five to, you know, five seconds to a minute to gather ourselves and in seat pose we just want to relax and then we're going to move into uh, hair pose and like I said each area um, of stretch is going to be in our awareness and we're going to focus on it our attention is going to be on it until it becomes pleasant and when we do that we're going to do that continually throughout these and that pleasantness will radiate throughout our whole body so now we're doing um, head to knee and I'm not purposely trying to reach to my toes uh, the purpose is head to knee that's the area that, um, that we're trying to go for so me reaching further I could do that but I really want to feel that stretch and do the yoga pose correctly and you might be wondering, like, why do I do this twice a day? Well, this specific uh, Maharishi Yoga asanas uh, are done before practicing Transcendental Meditation or the TM City program. So this is included um, as a benefit, as a supplement to meditation. And I've heard this this awesome awesome uh, quote or saying, "Oh, this one's Spinal Twist." This is also this is top two. This one and raising of the waist are probably two of my favorite ones. I really, really, really like the spinal twist. I try to, I really try to kind of go for it on this one, but um, uh, ideally we take our time and really kind of feel our spine. But the quote, back to that quote, what it was, was, you know, doing yoga without meditation is similar to making a nice, huge uh, buffet of delicious cuisine and having it all out there and not eating it. So not doing yoga after, not doing meditation after yoga is like leaving all of the food on the table not to be enjoyed. And that's not something that I knew before I started meditating. I would do yoga before, but um, really when we combine it with meditation, uh, it seems like we get full benefits. And we're going to wrap it up here. We're close to the end. Uh, this one is hand to foot pose we can do this two to three times um classic classic uh, yoga pose i think we all know this one and these all yoga poses are supposed to help our body and mind improve our coordination uh overall health and well-being um 
And when we combine it with, with meditation, we see, I think, the exponential benefits. The yoga poses by themselves are really, really beneficial. Uh, but when we combine them with, with meditation, uh, that's, that's really kind of the gold mine. So those are, those are our poses. And I'm going to go back into awareness here. Usually, ideally, I'd probably stay here for about a minute to two minutes. And if you ever try this after your yoga session, you can get really deep here. Uh, really, really, really deep here. Um, almost as deep as meditation. Um, but I was in a bit of a rush and I'm filming this video. So uh, after yoga practice, we do pranayama, alternate nostril breathing and this is something else that precedes meditation to help us go deeper uh, and get ready for meditation and I do this for about five to ten minutes so you know what if you have any questions drop a comment let me know any comments if you practice yoga what your yoga routine is like uh, what your experience of yoga uh, how has it been for you because uh, I've, I've had different different experiences with yoga uh, along my journey. I used to do different practices for different reasons. Uh, and I'm going to include that in the uh, description here, why I do it, some of the benefits as well. Uh, if you practice Maharishi Yoga Asanas, uh, let me know what you think about it, how long you've been doing it for, and um, the, uh, the benefits that you actually see. So, yeah, look forward to talking soon. Bye.